as a single mom, yeah, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. got it. I ain't calling her dad. You can, yeah, you, you, you I'll, bitch. I'll die starving on the road okay. before I call her dad. Vex. Vex. So I'm like, Vex. you know what? Vex. I'm Straight all the way the up. Ever. Say it again. Say it again. Say That's the dumbest ever. Hey, Jay, let her rock out for a little bit. We could, we could, we could digest that. We could yeah. digest that later. Sis. Let her rock out. Go ahead and finish the story. Okay. Finish the story. I'm gonna die on the side of the road before I call your dad to okay, help. Because I'm gonna yeah, tell you it's why. kinda wild, but go ahead. Because and that's how it's gonna be. And the father, I don't care what's going on. He will never know. If I'm up, so you, so you gonna die along with your child on the side of the road because you don't want the, like, what is wrong with you? Everything is going well. She's just probably praying, going over in her mind that, yeah, there's a possibility you're gonna shoot the club up. And that she can get pregnant and then lead this toxic, dysfunctional, broken lifestyle, raising a broken, you know, creeping a broken family for the child and just say that I'm, I'm sufficient. I'm but Jr., you didn't play the whole clip. That's the clip I got. So that's what I'm reacting to. But listen, I'm gonna give my commentary on that. Cause JR, you're not, you have to watch the whole thing. No, 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 no. There's a lot of women who think like this, who are basically like, this is my child. This isn't the father's child. And I'm gonna ensure that it's my child only. You don't have access. You can't help. You're a deadbeat by default because I wanted you out. You did your job. You shot the club up. I had the child and that was that. I will I will die before I ask for help. I'm a proud Uber single mother. And that's how it's going to be. And the father, I don't care what's going on. He will never know. If I'm up so you going to die along with your child on the side of the road because you don't want the like what is wrong with you? What where have you gotten to this point where you just feel like I'm going to take this child and I don't want him to have do anything. He don't he doesn't need to provide anything. What kind of man are you? Deal? Fellas, yo, protect your seat, fellas. Just don't be shooting up all these clubs and things like that and dealing with because, I mean, you never know. Everything seems sweet when you when you put in, when you put in her a, a chick like her to sleep at night. You know what I'm saying? Everything is going well. She's just probably praying, going over in her mind that, yeah, there's a possibility you're going to shoot the club up. And that she can get pregnant and then lead this toxic, dysfunctional, broken lifestyle, raising a broken, you know, creeping a broken family for the child and just say that I'm I'm sufficient. I'm enough. And this has been going this has been going on for decades. We can't just say it's the modern woman. This has been going on for decades. I refuse to ask him for anything. I refuse. It's not it's not your child. You got women who can't get any help at all. You got fathers who want to help. You got fathers that have to take women to court just to be able to see their child. Trust me, I know. It's very unfortunate. But you have just to be able to see your child. It's that jacked up. And this, I'm, I'm in the States. Y'all, I know I have people watching me from all over the world. And a lot of this stuff is unheard of. But just to hear a woman and she's like, huh? What did I say wrong? What did I say wrong? How dare you question whether I gave birth to this child? This is my child. Baby, this was an immaculate conception. What is going on here? Then you fix your mouth to get on this show and say this, just like my man said, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Especially those of us like myself who come from a single parent home, single mother. And the struggle you'll hear some you could live a better lifestyle or have access to certain things if only she'd open her mouth to ask but the pride for some women is death death yeah the pride pride is just that serious i'm never gonna ask him i'm never going i can make it i can do it and so many children miss out on so many opportunities you hear things about the father buying the kids sneakers or things like that, or this, that, and the third, and it's just like, oh, that's gonna create this. 
why wouldn't you want your child to have that? Why wouldn't you ch want your child? It's not like you're spoiling the child. I get when you're saying that. But why wouldn't you want your child if they're able to do it? Why wouldn't you want them to go on field trips? Why wouldn't you want them to get certain things that it will improve the quality of their life? I just that mindset. I wonder where does it come from? Does it does it come from deep down? You still want to be with the guy? Or is it just that there's just. You think that the child is going to value you more or see you in a different light. And a lot of you guys are raised that way and you have like this disdain for your father. Jesse Lee Peterson talks about this as well. Shout out to Jesse Lee. But this goes on, man. Alienation, parent, parental alienation, man. And you'd rather struggle. I don't get that. I'd rather struggle or ask the government than ask the father. Bruh. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about this, man. I'm done talking about it. Let me know what you guys think and if you've ever been in a situation like that. You know, where this foolishness or you came up in a household where this where this happened. You feel me? This is just bananas. How this will go down. You feel me? I don't know, man. Anyway, let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on down the link tree to book that one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Guys, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. Hit all notifications. Subscribe to my backup channel and subscribe to the Hustlers Apprentice channel. I'm trying to run this channel up to 100,000. Help your boy out, man. I appreciate you guys in advance for all that you do. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Also, every Monday and Thursday, you know, we got the Cup and Reason show Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we got the Fried Chicken and Communion podcast every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're interested in being on the Cup and Reason show, you're looking for love and things like that, yo, shoot me a DM on Instagram. If you haven't, follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. Or you can email me at JR Wisdom Unlimited. That way we can, you know, we can find your next ex-husband or next ex-wife. You feel me? So purchase all my books and merch. Got plenty of those. Click the link in the description below. I invite you to join and become a member of this YouTube channel, as well as joining my Patreon and get access to exclusive perks and self-improvement videos that I'm about to start putting out to help you guys out and improve your quality of life as well, based from my based off my experience. So with that being said, guys, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all, the mercy and blessings of the Almighty, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's true beat maker. And I don't know. I'ma put the light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto, you them.